Welcome back. The race is on to see who's going to lead the Ontario Liberal Party at the March 7th convention. Six candidates in the running, and joining me now is one of those candidates, Alvin Tejo. Thank you for being here. It's good to meet you. Nice seeing you, George. Um, just talking with Charles about this, you know, the yeah. education file is alpha and omega right now because of the strike. Now, one of the pillars of your platform is to merge the public and Catholic school system. That's Why? right. That's right. So I actually have three kids in the system. I have a kindergartner, a grade two, and a grade four student. Oh boy. <laughs> um, we've lost a lot of days uh, because of the strike and a lot of sleep. <laughs> And while I've been campaigning, it's been really tough to try and find childcare. Sure. And, you know, this government, I don't think, respects that uh, very much at all. And one of the things we were looking at when we proposed this was the option and the opportunity to save between $1.6 and $2 billion a year if we were able to merge the boards. On top of that, we're talking about communities across Ontario that would benefit from having one stronger school system, one for English and one for French. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that every dollar that we could potentially save would be reinvested in the classroom to make sure that students have class sizes that aren't too big, we can keep them the way they are, and make sure teachers have the resources they need in order to effectively teach their students. So when you propose this idea, or when it comes up at the doors or yeah. wherever you're on the stump, what's what's the feedback? So it's been incredible. 71% of Ontarians in a poll that just came out a couple of months ago showed that they support merging the Catholic and non-Catholic school boards. That's in every region of the province, that's every age demographic, and that's almost every religion. Catholics, 40% of them, like myself, support merging the Catholic and non-Catholic school boards. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you're running up against three Liberal Party veterans, cabinet ministers. How do you distinguish yourself from that pack going forward? Yeah, so I'm one of the two millennial candidates, and I think what we're trying to do is we're trying to show that it's time for a new generation of, of politicians to come in and to talk about the issues that affect us, right? We talk a lot more about climate change. We're very invested in the future. Uh, we understand that the education system right now is our is our competitive advantage. And if we don't invest in that, if we don't continue to adapt and get better in the future, we're going to get left behind. That's also why I proposed a universal basic income, because we know, conservatives know, progressives know, that there's a better way to deliver social assistance. And the cost of poverty in Ontario is $33 billion a year, George. The cost of a universal basic income is less than half that. And we can help over 2 million Ontarians who live in poverty, one, in a, one out of every five children who live in poverty in this province right now, if we implemented a universal basic income. And this is a government that canceled the pilot because they didn't even want the data to see what was going to happen. You know, the best and brightest have been getting out of the political game in the last generation. Why is, I mean, why the brain drain away from politics? There's there's a lot of negativity around politicians. I mean, I got <clears throat> I get a lot just by running, and some of my candidates, fellow candidates who are women, get a lot of uh, pushback, and it's not an attractive thing. But what we need is we need better people in politics. We need people who care, people who want to change what the current situation is and to understand that it requires them getting involved. And that's what I've done. And I think that's what we need from this next generation of leaders to come up and to say that I'm going to take some responsibility, I'm going to run for office, and I'm going to make a difference. Um, people make mistakes. Smart people make uh, learn from their mistakes. Wise people learn from the mistakes of others. Right. I've heard this uh, in the past. What lessons are you learning as you just you know go through yeah. life as an Ontarian? from what the Doug Ford government has been doing the last couple of years? Well, I think they're not listening. I mean, the, they came out earlier today that the consultation that they had with thousands of parents and teachers uh, showed that uh, they do not support larger class sizes and that they don't support the reforms that this government is doing. Yet they're lying to Ontarians and telling them that, oh yeah, I've talked to a couple of teachers and they told me that this is okay, right? And the Liberal government did that too in the past, past 15 years, where they sometimes felt that they knew what was best for the province without actually talking and consulting and, and understanding what Ontarians were feeling. So we need to make sure that we never lose that opportunity, George, to talk to people and understand what they really wanted us to do. Alvin, great to speak with you. Thanks very much and good luck at the convention. Thanks so much.